Okay, we're rolling now. Okay, hey guys, this is D5 from Super Droid Robots, and today I'm going to show you how to measure a uh, chain, and I'm going to let Rusty uh, show you how to cut it, and then I'll show you how to install it. Um, so I have uh, our chassis here uh, with our motors and our sprockets mounted to the uh, motor shaft, you can see on that side. Um, I have chain, I have an axle, um, and another sprocket that um, I'll go ahead and uh, slide into place. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, I got our sprockets in place here uh, just so we can measure for now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and slide the chain in uh, and make a mark. Um, so I'm going to use my uh, magnetic tip screwdriver here to help us out, kind of. Um, you got your chain on both your sprockets and um, I'm going to go ahead and make a mark on this link right here, um, on that rivet. If I can get the cap off. So uh, Rusty knows where to cut. Um, and so I'll take this out and show you a little more closely. If I can find the mark. Okay. So uh, yeah, careful because the, the mark will rub off easily with the grease. But um, this is, I made a mark on the last link that I want to keep. So Rusty's going to um, grind off these two rivets right here. And then um, we'll have our uh, chain cut to length. But, uh, yeah, I'm Rusty from Superdroid Robots. Uh, I'm going to show you how, how we cut chains. Uh, pretty simple. You can use just about any kind of tools. Um, I'm going to use an angle grinder. Uh, it's the quickest, easiest way. If you don't have one of those, maybe a Dremel with a grinding stone on it, cut off wheel, or a ball, whatever you, whatever you want to use. Just got to grind it down. Keep in mind, if, uh, if you don't have the tools to do this at home, uh, we can sell chain. We sell chains at any length you want. Uh, and we can do any of your assemblies for you here at Super Robots. Robots. Alright, I got my safety glasses out on. And I got my piece marked. You want You got like the little pin sticking up. And you just want to grind the two pins down. You got to be careful that you don't grind so far that you're down into the, the length that you want to save. Uh, but you got to grind kind of lower than flush. Um, and just take a, a screwdriver or something and you can pop that off. It's a little hot, so. Alright, done deal. Short and chain. Okay, so Rusty's got her chain cut to length for us. Um, I'm going to show you how to install the master link. Um, we're going to assemble it here and then we can uh, slide the motor all the way uh, towards the sprocket on the axle um, so we can uh, slide the chain into place already assembled. Uh, so we got our master link. We're going to uh, slide that in place. Okay, so we've got our chain assembled. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, slide the axle in with a uh, lock collar. Um, and that. And so see, we, um, we have this retaining clip that uh, sticks out 
on one side of the chain a little bit. And so we want to put that um, retaining clip on whichever side we have the most clearance. So in this case, I think we're going to have the most clearance on the inside. Um, so I'll go ahead and put it in place there. Okay, and so I'm going to uh, put another lock collar on the inside of the shaft to lock that in place. All right, that's how you measure, cut, and install the chains. Please contact us at Super Droid Robots if you have any questions. Thanks.